Redbeard be cracking open his second ever beer from the Tooth and Nail Brewing Company that was brought back from Ottawa by the awesome Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, you rock. Who? What? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Fortitude Stout by the Tooth and Nail Brewing Company. Yeah, another little, little baby can that really doesn't have anything on it. This stuff is 5.4% alcohol, so stout, not overly strong. I'm assuming I'm going to find it quite tasty. Crack her open and see what we have got. Oh yes, looks like a stout. I don't know what kind of stout this is. It doesn't say oatmeal or milk stout on it, so what I would I would just assume it's a a regular stout, I guess. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to lead you watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. That looks like a pretty damn dark beer, and it is a pretty damn dark beer. No light making it through there at all. Looks nice though. I'll say that. Cat hair. It smells like a stout. If anything, I'd say maybe it has a bit of an oatmeal smell. Smell. Blah, blah. Oatmeal stout aroma going on. It smells nice. Smoky. Yummy. Possibly. Hopefully. Let's give her a shot. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Oh, that really nice kind of roasty taste just lingering around the back of my throat. I like it. I like both the beers by these guys, come to think of it. Actually, there was another one that I did the vlog for and that video got lost. What the hell was it? Sucker Punch IPA, this stuff. And some beer that you guys brew all the time, but you change the hops or something, I think. It was actually quite tasty as well. I can't remember what it was called, but I think I rated it somewhere in the 8 range. So, you know, maybe put your beer in tall cans <laughs> and uh, maybe do a little bit of label work. But as far as the beer itself goes, let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and of course, cheers, Captain Morgan. Many, many thanks. Really, really easy drinking. Mild, like it's not in your face with any crazy flavors. It's just really, really nice, smooth, very well balanced delicious stout. Today being January 22nd. My mouth didn't want to work for a second there. Sorry. On this date in 1957, the New York City mad bomber George P. Metesky. Metesky? Whatever. He was arrested in Connecticut after planting more than 33 bombs because he was working for the Consolidated Edison Company and was working some generator wiper at the Hellgate generating plant when a boiler backfired and the gases escaped and filled his lungs which basically forever kind of crippled him like gave him pneumonia which then developed into tuberculosis and he was on sick leave for a while and then they fired him and he tried to get like uh what's the word come on Workers, workers' compensation, sorry. And he was denied, so he decided, all right, fine, I'm going to start bombing everybody. It's an interesting course of action for one to take. He was nice enough to stop his, like, the bomb, he bombed people between 1940, he didn't bomb people, but he planted bombs in 1940 and 1956. But he stopped during World War II, because he was nice like that, something.
Surprisingly, too, I don't think anybody... I don't think anybody actually died. Although, he, he did go to jail for a long time. Didn't, didn't die in jail or anything, but I don't think anyone died. On this date in 1968, Apollo 5 lifted off, carrying the first lunar module into space. Whee! It's pretty cool. I gotta think, I'm not sure when last year I transitioned from talking about just, like, the number of the day... Like, it was, like, daily drink number whatever. Today would be 22, I guess, because I started January 1st. And eventually I transitioned into the date thing. And I'm not sure when that's going to start possibly... Excuse me, when I might start possibly repeating myself. So, well, that, that just kind of sounded familiar, so I don't know. Maybe I did. The other ones don't sound familiar. On the state in 1970, the Boeing 747, the worst world... The world... The worst? Really? Come on. <laughs> The world's first jumbo jet, that was a really good one, entered commercial service for launch customer Pan American Airways with its maiden voyage from John F. Kennedy International Airport to London Heathrow Airport. Sorry, that wasn't animal abuse. That was me preventing him from abusing himself. That's what it was. He fucking he bite himself until he bleeds. It's pretty bad. I'm watching out for him. He's, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, good boy. Most of the time. It's starting like that. On this date in 1973, the Supreme Court of the United States delivered its decision in Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton legalizing elective abortion in all 50 states. Even though in a lot of the southern kind of states, it is incredibly hard for a woman to get an abortion. Like... It's legal, but, like, how many loopholes can we make this chick go through? Try to discourage her from, you know, like, fuck. If a woman is pregnant with a child that she doesn't want, or for whatever reason, for whatever reason, it's her body. The baby, people are like, it's a heartbeat, it's a person. No. When it's born, it's a person. Up until then, it, you don't know. Like... It could be some kind of monster. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Stop. Now. Damn you. Put the cone back on. If I... I don't know where it is. I'll find the cone and put it back on. Tooth and nail. You need to get some beer in the LCBO. Or the beer store. Because I'm pretty sure you don't have any in either... And like I said a little while ago, every beer of yours that has passed over my taste buds has been quite appealing to them. That made sense. Yeah, it's just... It's just really nice. On this date in 19... 92, finally on the state in the past. It's fucking well rehearsed, these vlogs are. The space shuttle launched with Dr. Roberta Bondar, with her becoming the first Canadian woman and the first neurologist in space. Good for her. I don't know who that was at all. Canadian, so you know. Yay. Canada's actually did, has, has contributed a fair amount to the United States space program efforts throughout its existence. The Canada arm, fucking weird Canada arm thing. It's like a big robotic arm that they used to do a bunch of shit with the space shuttle. That was obviously made in Canada. Like, could we give ourselves any more of a bit of a shout out there? It's like, oh, we got this big piece we're going to put on it. What are we going to call it? We'll call it the Canada Arm. And put a big giant Canada on it. I also thought that was kind of fun. I don't know. In honor of the Canada Arm. I think it was Canada Arm or Canada Arm. I think it's just the Canada Arm. Regardless, we never lost. 
It doesn't matter. Who one way or the other? Tooth and nail. Your fortitude stout. I'm not knocking you for the lack of ingredients or a date because this was very obviously purchased at the brewery along with all the beer you sell, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Rating on that, solid fucking nine. Excuse me. Even that's just like smoky tastiness. Smoky deliciousness. And another one. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, and be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you've got some sending me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! That can of beer went down pretty goddamn quickly. I'm recording this vlog for like exactly 12 minutes now. It might not even be 10 when it's done. Jesus.